Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer. Welcome all of you pandas. So, this video is called Trick Photography. Why do you need all these and why do you have to buy them or maybe you do not have to buy them. But we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna find out if it's right for you or is it something that you're looking for to maybe think outside the box in your photography. Thank you everyone for tuning in to the content. Please, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, hit the thumb button. If you do like it, hit the thumb button, please. Share the content with your friends. It really helps me out, but it will also help me out if you go to my website at 646studios.com where you can learn some uh, tips of the week, tutorials of photography, tutorials of videography, and watch some of my work and look at some of the products that I have I have owned or owned in the past but let me start off by saying this in this video I'm not affiliated I'm not sponsored I'm not endorsed I'm not getting free pro products from any of these companies uh, so just keep that legit so this is going to be trick photography and why you should actually learn trick photography by looking outside the box of photography be creative in your photography now I'm not gonna stress this anymore I'm not someone's parent, I'm not someone's teacher. I'm just a person that wants to help. And that's all I'm trying to do here, is to help. Now, as I learned in the past, I learned from difficulties, failures, and disappointments, and good triumphs sometimes. But I learned by using these particular items, except for the grow grid. I just got this about six months ago but all these other things I had for a while now. Now, what I did was I combined gels with softbox on my flashes. Now keep in mind that gels also stop one stop of light or two stops of light. Depends on the quality of gel. This gel in particular here is a very good gel. It's really thick and I like it. And this one stops two stops of light and there's a bunch of different colors here. It's can show them all but there's a bunch of colors here they got purple blue green orange red or uh they got something called metallica Na apple green what the hell that's weird i'm not sure if i'm going to use that one yet but i just want to point that out to you that i combined them and gave example i did a photo i did a photo while i was in new york city and i took a picture of my friend tech i mean not tech kent kenta and I put a blue gel on the flash and had the other two flashes fray each other and it gave me like this blue aura of light but white light around his body as like a shadow which is pretty unique. So uh, I just want to share that with you guys so you guys have a better understanding why I'm saying why you should use it. You can also use the gels for your diffuser. Yes, you can use the gels for your diffuser. Yes, and this thing is big. In the last video, I talked about portability, and you can see how smaller this is compared to this diffuser. Now, I do like the diffuser because I have these two caps. I can use warm light, I can use a soft light, but that depends on where I am, the location, the conditions, the lighting. But when I'm using the diffuser, I'm actually using a, a certain gel uh say like a blue or like an orange or like kind of like a warm color to give the skin tones a bit of uh of color but also to not over saturate the colors of the skin on the eye tones so i tried to work things out by testing so you can use that but keep in mind low key lighting and high key lighting are my favorite things to do i love to do them and for example like this photo here I love to do low key lighting and high key lighting. All my high low key lighting uh, images have come from trial and error. As an amateur photographer that you're becoming, you are going to need some of these to understand how, how to control light. Light is very important and you gotta know how to control it. You gotta know how to understand it. So keep this in mind. Now, you may have questions and you may not. But if you have questions, please just hit me down in the comments down below and I will answer according to my time frame. But right now, 
let's try to focus on what you what is actually here and these soft boxes are like i think they're like five bucks five dollars for these little things and they came in handy by the way and they work pretty well to, to speak and it comes with these rubber bands which they're you have to wrap around the flash but other than that i got rev crow i got more rev crow and holsters but as i said this grid the road grid is by far my favorite little spotlight uh tool that i use for portraits so if you guys are very interested in that i there's a bounce card right there on the top of the screen watch that video and you can understand it more but other than that if you guys are curious about how i'm filming this I'm using the Sony A77 Mark II. I'm using the Cinema 1835. I have my Manfrotto uh, 190 Go tripod. I have the column sticking out 90 degrees, sticking out to the table. I have my newer flash, giving this off flash with a softbox in front of it. Uh, it's at right now should have 1 125 with uh, 1 125 shutter speed at f1.8 wide open. Uh, I'm at ISO 200. I'm a little overexposed by 1.7 stops, but that is okay because I'm going to turn down because I'm shooting a flat color. I'm shooting a flat color profile by now. Negative three saturation, negative two, negative three contrast, negative two saturation, plus zero sharpness because I have it wide open at f1.8. Other than that, thank you for watching, everyone. Please follow me at my social medias at Instagram, Twitter. Facebook and you can go also find me on social media as my personal Facebook that's if you can find me but other than that thank you for watching everyone hopefully this has helped as I said please help me out by visiting my website and make a donation to help me make more content like this but also if you have any questions hit me down below and I'll see you guys in the next one